What's up, fam? Back once more. Just to give you a little option on some other things that I was talking about, because I often see people, you know, often putting up all this stuff about Jesus and all of this who never existed. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous how these people got people's minds going and jumping around in churches like they fucking crazy. But this is a scripture in the Bible, because I'm hitting them with their own book. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 15. No, uh, uh, verse 15, chapter 15 through 19, where it's saying, Yea, this is Paul talking, Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. That means dead people don't fucking rise. For if, this is 16, for if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. No, he's not raised. 17, and if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Some Bibles say futile. Futile. Ye are yet in your sins. And sins only means temptation. Then, this is 18, then say also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. In this life only we have hope in Christ. We are all, we of, are of all men most miserable. Christ ain't dying on no cross to nobody. Whoever was wrote right that, they were trying to give a message that the shit was bullshit and that in fact, the dead do not rise. You know what I mean? Dead people do not come from the from from uh from the dead. The only thing that they're talking about is with you hear this word L, and that's with Jesus, uh, Manuel and uh, uh, Mary Magdalene. Magdalene is 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 is, is magnet magnetism. You need magnetism to pull electricity from where it is held that, you know what I mean, and we have to get into that, you know, and that's why you have, when you look back to this definition of God, you'll go back to L, electricity and, and, and magnetism, and that's why they have, you know, this thing with Lazarus also being dead for three days and pulled up, only thing, let me tell you about this resurrection story, this resurrection story is nothing about, nothing but astrology, it's based on the sun, and, uh, You'll find that in Psalm 84, 11, where for the Lord God is the S-U-N and shield. It's talking about the sun. That's the only thing that's resurrected for three days. The sun, every December 21st, dies. The sun is dying as we speak right now. It's part of the winter solstice and winter equinox. And this is how we get our season. The sun dies every December 21st, and the planets rotate around the sun while it stays in the south gate in the, in, in the atmosphere, in the universe. And on December 25th, the sun rises again, and our days start getting longer. It's part of our winter solstice and winter equinox. That's all the resurrection story is all about. And then comes... The month of Aquarius. The water bringer. That's what the baptism is about. You know? And, you know, you go on more. I'll bring this to you later on. And how the sun is just moving. This, this whole story is about the sun moving through the constellations. And it's about some African stories. How they enslaved us. The slaves that was in Egypt was the black folks they was talking about. It wasn't just in Egypt. They attacked different parts of Africa and enslaved people. We have to see this history. And as far as converting into religions, Islam is not the oldest religion. People own boundaries. And in order to sell your products beyond that boundary, you had to convert. You couldn't do business with us if you're not with us. And that's how that is. Till next time. Just a little something on you. Hotep.